Hey, what's up, guys? It's Darkroom Duels, and today we're doing a Sylvan deck profile. So I'm really excited to see you guys because I've changed up this deck a lot since the last time I actually profiled it, and it's a really amazing deck that makes great use of all of the generic plant support that we've been getting recently. I love the way that it plays, and it just summons out some amazing boss monsters to our side of the field, and even has some of the most beautiful artwork in the entire game of Yu-Gi-Oh. So without further ado, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell on there so you can come part of notification squad, and definitely check out the Patreon down in the description below for all those awesome rewards like you your name, search for a single video, getting assigned cards in the mail, and even getting to request a deck profile, everything among your patron along with test hands. So without further ado, let's get straight on into this. So first off, we're playing two copies of Hermitry. I bumped Hermitry down to two in this particular build because of all the other cards that I wanted to include in this deck. It has a really neat effect that you could do once per turn, excavate the top card off your deck, and if you do, and if it's a plant monster, send it to the graveyard, and if you do that, you get to draw a card. Otherwise, place it on the bottom of the deck. And if this card is excavated from your deck and sent to the graveyard by a card effect you get to look at the top three cards of your deck and then place them back in any order which is pretty good for this particular deck so you can know exactly what you're going to hit with your next sylvan monster we then play two copies of sage akoya sage akoya is a great card in the deck as well as a two of i used to play it at three but now i've bumped it down to two for all of the other support cards that i put in this deck it has the ability that when a sylvan monster is sent to the graveyard except during the damage step you can special summon this card from your hand and then once per turn you can excavate the top card of your deck and if you, it's a plant monster send it to the graveyard otherwise place it on the bottom of the deck and if this card is excavated from the deck and sent to the graveyard by a card effect you can target a sylvan spell or trap in the graveyard and add it back to your hand which is a pretty good effect we then play two copies of the sylvan princess sprout princess sprout is a great card to help you go into xz plays because it has the ability that you can only use the effect of this card once per turn that you can tribute this card to excavate the top card of your deck and send it to the graveyard and then place a sprout monster uh for in your graveyard on top of your deck and if this card is excavated from the deck and sent to the graveyard by a card effect you can declare a level between one and eight special summon this card from the graveyard and if you do it becomes that level which is why i play this card as a two of because it helps you go into all sorts of different xz plays because you can call the level of it we then play two copies of cherub sprout cherub sprout is a neat card in the deck because it has the ability that when this card is special summon you can choose a number between one and two and then excavate cards off the top of your deck by the number you selected usually it's always going to be two because you want to excavate cards off the deck and plant monsters you send any excavated plant monsters to the graveyard and also place the other cards on the bottom of the deck in any order and if this card is excavated from the deck and sent to the graveyard by a card effect you could special summon a level one plant monster from your deck which we have quite a few plant monsters in the deck that you can actually special summon all this effect we can play three copies of peacekeeper peacekeeper is one of the best cards in the entire deck because when this card is normal summoned you get to excavate the top card of your deck and if it's plant you send it to the graveyard otherwise you put it on the bottom of the deck and if this card is excavated from the deck and sent to the graveyard by a card effect you get to target a level four or lower plant monster in the graveyard and special summon that target which is a great monster rebornish effect for this deck to have we then play a single copy of marsh leaf marsh leaf is a good one to two of in this deck but currently i'm playing just a single copy of marsh leaf in my particular build it has a really neat effect that when it's normal summon you get to uh, either pick one or two and excavate cards off the top of the deck one or two cards off the top of the deck and if this card is excavated excavated from the deck and sent to the graveyard then you get to target a monster on the field and destroy it which is a pretty good effect and then playing a single copy of guardian oak guardian oak is a neat card in the deck to help you go into some xz plays because it is a level six which is super helpful for the deck which is why i play it as one of and if it's excavated from the deck and sent to the graveyard by a card effect you can target one other plant monster in the graveyard and place it on top of your deck so it can help you recycle your plants so you can excavate them again and again to get their effects off we then play three copies of lone fire blossom lone fire blossom is a great three of in this deck because it's going to help you special summon out all of your high level plant monsters monsters from the deck because you get to tribute a plant monster on the field to special summon any plant monster from the deck we play three copies of evil thorn evil thorn is a great card in the deck as well because it's going to let you summon out two more copies of evil thorn when you tribute it so it helps you go into a one card essential uh xz play or a link play which is really really good we then play my personal tech of the deck which is three copies of rika petal rika petal is a new card that i've included in this particular build and i'm really loving it because it has the ability that during the main phase 
You can take a Rika monster from your deck and either add it to your hand or send it to the graveyard, which is a great effect for this uh, card to have. And also you cannot special some monsters the turn, the turn you activate this effect, except for plant monsters. And that during your opponent's end phase, when this card is in the graveyard, if you control no monsters or all monsters you control are plants, then you can special summon this card back to your side of the field, giving you an additional level one on your side of the field, which is pretty helpful. We then play two copies of Snowdrop. Snowdrop helps us go into Xyz plays, and the card that I'm primarily searching off the copy of the Rika Petal. It has the ability to tribute a plant monster, special summon both this card and one other plant monster in your hand, but you can't special summon monsters for the rest of the turn except for plant monsters, and you cannot. And then you can target one plant monster to control, and all plant monsters you currently control become that monster's level, which is super helpful for this deck to help you go into additional plays. We then play a single copy of Mardell, because if this card is special summon or normal summon, you get to add a generator or a plant monster from your deck to your hand. One copy of Rose Paladin because it's a great level four for this deck and it's just an overall good card. It has some neat graveyard effects as well because when this card destroys a monster at battle and sends it to the graveyard, you can tribute this card to special summon a plant monster from your hand or deck in defense position and you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard and then add a level seven or higher plant monster from your deck to your hand, which can help you out a lot to get the exact ones that you want. But you see a copy of Rose Lover. Rose Lover can banish itself from the graveyard to special summon a plant monster from your hand, which is kind of neat for this deck. One copy of spore because it's a great tuner for the deck and a single copy of copy plant as well copy plant is basically here because you can use it as a uh, tuner monster to go into some neat synchro plays and it also lets you select a face up plant monster on the field and this card's level becomes equal to the selected monster so we can copy levels which is pretty good so that's it for the monsters guys let's get into the spells and with this deck you've got to play a lot of monsters which you guys have probably noticed because you want to excavate plant monsters from the deck. So for the spells, we're going to be playing a single copy of Monster Reborn just to help us bring back our high level plants back from the graveyard. One copy of Reasoning because all of our monsters have different levels, which is very, very helpful for us to be able to special summon cards off the deck. And this card does excavate, which is pretty good. One copy of One for One because it can help us special summon out some of our powerful level ones like Evil Thorn from the deck. One copy of Pot of Avarice. I wanted to play this card at more than one, but the deck is very tight, so I'm just playing the card currently at one because this card lets you pick five monsters in the graveyard. Shuffle them back in the deck and then draw two. So it can basically give you a draw two and fix your entire hand, which is pretty good, and recycle your cards. One copy of Rosebell Revelation. This card is a card that I did actually consider dropping for the second copy of Pot of Avarice. It let's just add a plant monster with 2400 or more attack from our deck to your hand, and you manage to scarf in the graveyard to special summon a plant monster with 2400 or more attack from your hand as well, which is pretty good just to give you that additional ability. But we have a lot of cards in the deck that already special summon, so I did consider it for the second copy copy of Pot of Avarice. We then play two copies of White Roy Rose Cloister. This card is a great card for this deck, especially for this deck playing so many high level plant monsters. Because if you control no monsters, you can special summon a Rose Dragon or a plant monster from your hand, which is the only effect on this card that really matters, is that you're trying to special summon out that plant monster to your side of the field and essentially turn all of them into Cyber Dragon effects, which is why I play this card as a one-up. We then play a single copy of Mount Sylvania. This card is a great card because it lets us send a plant monster from our hand or, uh, hand or face or field uh, to the graveyard and then choose a Sylvan card from our deck and place it on top of the deck. And then you only affect this card once per turn. And then once per turn, during during your opponent's in phase, you can activate the top card of your deck, and if you do it's a plant monster, send it to the graveyard, otherwise place it on the bottom of the deck, but you're always going to get to call what you put on top of the deck, which is really good. For the last three cards in the main deck, we're playing three copies of Sylvan Charity. This card is a great draw card. It's one of the craziest draw cards, still in my opinion, to this day. It lets you draw three cards, and then if you have a Sylvan card in your hand, you reveal two cards in your hand, including at least one of the Sylvan cards, and place them on top of the deck in any order. Otherwise, reveal your entire hand, and then place it on top of the deck in any order. But it's basically like a great graceful charity that you get to draw three cards which is really good for this deck to get you exactly what you need so that's it for the main deck guys let's get into the extra deck so for the extra deck we're going to be playing two copies of sylvan princess sprout this card is a great great card for this deck for as a two of i love co playing two copies of this card it has the ability that you get to detach a material from this card and excavate the top card of your deck and if it's a spell or trap card add it to your hand otherwise send it to the graveyard and then you get to send one other plant monster from your hand or face your field to the graveyard then target a sylvan card in your graveyard and special summon it which is pretty good just to give you an additional special summon and this card literally does it all which is what i love about this card 
When you play single copy of Oria, this Sylvan High Arbiter. The High Arbiter is a great boss monster of the deck. It gives you additional cards that you can excavate, which is just super helpful. And I love what the card does as well for the deck, because it lets you once per turn send a plant type monster from your hand or face from your side of the field to the graveyard. And then it also has the ability to look at monsters from the top of the deck, equal to the level of the monster um, that you used for this card's effect, and then place them on top of the deck in any order. And then once per turn, you can detach a material from this card and then choose a number between one and three and excavate cards off the top of your deck and then send any plant monsters you activated the graveyard and if you do return that many cards on the field to the owner's hand minimum one except this card and after this card uh also place the cards on the bottom of the deck in any order which is pretty good just to bounce a bunch of cards we then play a single copy of teardrop as well because it works really well with our rika cards we play a single copy of the other rika queen because this card is really good um kanzashi is a good one of in the deck because if a monster is tributed except during the damage step then you get to detach a material from this card and target card on the graveyard and special summon it which is a great effect for this deck to be able to use we see a copy of the rank four rika monster as well because it helps you go into your copy of your sacred tree uh your copy of your sacred tree beast i really love this card in the deck and it's very 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 easy to summon and it gives basically a walking negate one copy of number 38 which is one of the only monsters that we play in this deck that isn't a uh plant so this card is really good in this deck as a one of because it does negate spells and it's easy to put level eights on your side of the field one copy of chaos ruler because it excavates so it's very good to synchro summon into this card one copy of boral load savage because it does give us that additional negation which is really good one copy of empress of blooms this card is a great card to summon to your side of the field because it gains four attack for each plant monster that you control and then during your main phase you can special summon a level five or higher plant monster from your hand or graveyard in defense position save another copy of herself so she's a constant walking monster reborn which is pretty good one copy of the rank four plant or link four plant monster this card's a great boss monster for that and it's an overall just great card to play as a one-up one copy of appaloosa because it gives us additional negations and then two copies of the aroma seraphy jasmine this card is great in the deck because you want a two of link monsters you can go into this card with your copy of evil thorn very easily and if your life points are higher than your opponent then this card and any plant monsters card points you cannot be destroyed by battle and you can trade a plant monster and especially summon a plant monster from the deck in defense solution which is helpful for this deck to get exactly the plant monster that you want on your side of the field so that's it for the deck guys i hope you enjoy it it's a really fun deck to play around with i hope that you guys give this deck a try it's super fun because this deck was actually one of the first decks that ever excavated in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh, which is really amazing i love the way the deck plays and i love all the different trees that are in this deck so anyways guys this is dark arm duels don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the bell so you can come part notification squad and we'll see you guys in the next video see you later guys